Okay, we're just going to do this live because I don't feel like editing, so I'm going to try and take this as briefly as possible. I just want to give a brief discussion about PresentMon and GPU Busy and what that actually means because it seems like some other people trying to discuss it recently are uh, maybe getting a little too technical, making people kind of not understand what's going on and monotonously repeating themselves while showing their own graphs and whatnot instead of just showing the basics of what it is. So recently I've been doing a bunch of... Uh, testing and benchmarking on my GPU collection, uh, everything from like the 1650s up through, I just did a, an A770 right before PresentMon's new beta came out. Um, and then 1660 Ti's, I'm just finished doing a 1080, which is what I'm gonna show some of these, uh, some of these measurements with um, just so you can kind of grasp what's going on but let's go ahead real quick let's just talk about what this is as far as a frame and frame time what is presentmon so if we go here let's say this is one frame time right and we could call that 86 milliseconds we could call that 3.2 milliseconds we could give it a even you know 60 milliseconds or whatever but I would prefer to just say let's call this one unit of time in here so here's our first one here's our second frame So inside of this first frame, let's call it, we've got a unit of time and we have, to be simplified, let's call it fabrication of that frame or the GPU doing work, meaning GPU busy, and then what that total frame time is. So if you think of it as one unit of time, per frame time, how much of that unit is the GPU fabricating for? Let's call it fabricating and handling. So how much of that frame time is the GPU actually doing computing and do, doing work over that frame time? Sometimes it can be where that GPU is doing a very short amount of work and then the handling of it, let's call it handling of that frame to present to you is taking a longer amount of time, which is why you have a significantly longer period between frame times, right? So that would look something like this where, you know, let's say that we have... Uh, This would be something where the GPU is mostly being busy, but not fully being busy because this time period here, the GPU is not busy for, as opposed to something like this, where we could say, okay, the GPU is fully busy throughout that frame time, right? Or you can have something like this, where the GPU is very briefly busy. And then for the most of the part of the time that that frame is being waiting to be presented, it's not because the GPU is slow doing its work, it's because something else in the process is slower, meaning bottlenecking, right? More likely than not, it's the CPU. So let's go ahead and kind of show you this on a very easy to, uh, C example, something that most of you are already going to be experienced with, right? So uh, the first thing I'd like to show is just Time Spy, right? Time Spy, we all know Time Spy. So let me go ahead and uh, open that Time Spy in VLC. Let's go take this, bring me down in the corner. 
Um, so this is uh, me running time spy last night. Let's go to like 27 seconds where this thing starts. So you can see here, if you want you to pay attention to this for these times, here, here's your busy time, right? And you can see as it's loading, right? Right now, that's actually not a bad frame time. There you go. Here we go. G, we're going to pause it right there. So right now, if we see it, we've got our GPU busy time at 0.33 milliseconds, and we have 103 milliseconds for our average frame time. Now, this is not actually, it's loading right now. It's not, it's not heavily stressing the GPU. If you can look up here, you can see here's our GPU utilization at 1.3%. Here's our CPU utilization at 6.28% right? We're using a little bit more GPU, CPU utilization than we are GPU, which is not going to be what's going to happen when this thing is actually running its benchmark. But what you can see is because this frame is not hard for the GPU to, to produce, it's basically having a very low busy time and the frame time is longer, not because of the GPU's issue right now, but because of some other issue along that process of presenting that frame. So if we continue on uh, to like, let's go to like where this thing starts a little bit. Let's just let it ride out. Here we go. Let's go in here. Let's let this ride. Still loading. Here we go. Now you can see. Now let's pause this right here. Now look at what's going on. We got a GPU utilization up here at 99.7%, right? Our CPU is using 24.4%. That's even high for that. But look at our frame times and our GPU busy times. 17.8 milliseconds, 17.9 milliseconds. We almost have a one-to-one -one there, right? So if you keep watching that, watch where we're at. One-to-one. One-to-one. -one. One to one, look at our GPU utilization, 100%, 21% on our CPU, right? So we're pushing our GPU right now. The GPU is being busy for most of that frame time. Right? So the amount of time that it takes to produce that frame, that GPU is doing most of that fabrication process throughout. And the handling process is taking very small amount of time, if negligible. You can see how this frame time right here and how it's corresponding with this, right? So let's go ahead and let that ride for a second. So you can see how that's completely a one-to-one -one ratio, pretty much. These times are bouncing around a little bit. Utilization is bouncing around. But for the most part, we got... See, now we're, now we're starting to get where... Uh, it's now getting to where we're having a lower GPU busy time and a higher frame time. So that... GPU busy time is, you know, maybe half of that frame time, right? We're doing about 50%, about 56% of that time, right? And 34% higher usage in our CPU because let's say that the handling of that process is taking more work and the GPU is doing less work during that frame production. see those times there and you can see up here what's happening during that now look at how it just dropped back to 100% utilization back to a one-to-one -one ratio right there right which means that for most of that frame time our GPU is busy doing work now let's go ahead and let's skip all the way to the end to like, uh, here we go. Somewhere around here. 
where it was doing, I believe, uh, yeah, CPU stressing right here at some point. Uh, yeah, let's get up to here where... Somewhere around there. Now you can see real shallow GPU utilization here and our CPU is much higher. And now look what's happening here. We got 1.78 milliseconds of work time, of busy time, of fabrication time, of energy and power coming out of that GPU and a lot more in that handling process of what that produced. Right? But this is because the GPU is not being stressed right now. In fact, it's probably rendering with that CPU right now. GPU utilization 10.2, CPU utilization 90.1. Right? And you can see our busy time and our frame time are way out of whack. That ratio is nowhere near one to one, right? Now let's go ahead and say, uh, I'm gonna give you another example right now of something that's even easier to understand. Something that we've all seen many times before. Here we go, you ever seen this guy? Furmark, how'd I get this working? Don't worry about it. I got the overlay to go on top of Furmark and as you can see, this is just basically a GPU stress test and look at what's happening here during that time. We got a GPU utilization of 100%. We're using about 8 to 10% CPU. And what's happening here? We've got a one to one ratio going on pretty much throughout this entire test because we're stressing that GPU. That GPU is doing work for most of the frame production of this process, if not all of it right that's what should be happening and that tells us that we're you know at this point if you would call a bottleneck going on it would be that your gpu is bottleneck in the situation but that's specific to whatever application you're doing so it's not like the 1080 bottlenecks at 2700x but let's go ahead and uh show you one more example here um, we have got a uh, superposition. Let's show you superposition from last night. Uh, and this is going to be very similar, very similar. It's this zero utilization. Da, da, da. This time is all jacked up right now because the test hasn't started. And now watch what happens. Here we go. Wait for it. There we go. Now we're into the test and look at what happened. 99%, 8 to 10% on the CPU where we're at. We're at a almost one to one ratio right here. Watch that throughout the test. One to one ratio. Right? One to one ratio in here. 11 .8, 11.8, 11.8, 11.9, 11.7, 11.7, 11.6, 11.6. What we've got going on there is a one to one ratio because our GPU is doing work for the most of the production of this frame time. So when you hear people using this new term, GPU busy, when they're talking about presentmon, this is all that they're talking about, is how, not just what are my frame times, how many frames per second am I getting, what is my 1% lows or my 99th percentile, but of the specific frame times, what is going on throughout the production of that frame time? My GPU is doing some work, and then there's other processes going on to present that frame to me. Now, is my GPU slowing down the rest of the process, 
Or is my GPU fast enough and something else is slowing down that process? Be it RAM, the CPU, something like that. This is all happening at, at such speeds though that like between the high end and the low end you're seeing a bunch but like when you try to look at it for for what it is it's probably not going to become that apparent what's going on you can see this thing is kept pretty rock solid here one to one ratio during this basic test that everyone's run so that's my spiel on the whole uh, GPU busy present mon and how uh, when you see other people using this what it actually means and when you see them presenting their own graphs they're just taking the CFC file CSV file from this application just like they would any other application and then slapping it into their own graph creator putting that data out in their graph expecting you to understand what that is without giving you the basics of how hey we all understand what this is this is how it works this is what they're talking about will it revolutionize gpus i think it's more this is more for the uh developers to be able to use for what they're doing although it will tell you hey am i bottlenecking one way or another which in theory you could figure this out without using this specific tool prior to this so it's not that it's not a good tool because clearly i am using it i am recording things with it um and i am implementing it into my own workflow but Let's not call it revolutionary or game changing, please. But let's let's use it, but let's understand what we're talking about so that we're not just throwing things out there and talking over people where they're looking at a chart that they've never seen before. They can't understand it and they're just gloss over and you've lost them. They may hear you monotonely speaking to them, but they're not gonna actually understand and comprehend what you're saying unless you break it down to like that basic level where you can say here's what it is here's how it's on something that you've already seen before before we start taking it and putting it into our own charts and making you try to take the leap there hope that works for anyone that uh, didn't get it also if you think i'm an asshole please leave a comment below I, i'd love it honestly tell me where i went wrong tell me what i don't know Tell me how much of a jackass I am. Whatever you want. Be a YouTube commenter. I might be a re YouTube replier then. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I don't care. You're a clown.